let's go on down here. Here you can see why I like to use um, head and tail. Let's go ahead and run tail. Now, look what happened. Notice that I lost my labels. Now, why did that happen? This is still um, a generic column, but the labels that I had assigned aren't there anymore. So um, let's look at um, some different ways that we can change things. So the problem was that what I had done here in my um, command was I simply um, set the index and then I had it um, display as output the result. I did not assign that result to anything. So because I didn't assign the, res the result to anything, I essentially lost it as soon as it was displayed on the screen. So the way that I can fix this, there's actually several ways that I can fix this. One is that I can create a view by taking the output of whatever operation that I'm doing here and assign it to a different variable name. Um, but recall from the end of the last lesson that when we create a view, we're not actually making a copy of the data. We're just simply looking at the data in a different way. So if we manipulate this view, we're also going to manipulate the original data frame. The way to get around that, if we wish to actually separate the new um, thing that we created, the new object we created from the original, is to use the copy method. And so here you can see something that we also saw in an earlier um, lesson, that you can basically chain together methods and then Python will execute them in the order that they're listed. So what will happen here is I'll take my CO2 data frame, make a copy of it, and then perform a sorting operation on that copy, and then that final result gets assigned to a new variable that is now independent of the original, um, the original data frame object. The other alternative is to perform the uh, operation in place. And what that means is that there is no, it is not producing any kind of result that, get, that will become assigned to a different name, but rather we are simply operating on the original object itself and changing it in place. So in that case, you'll notice there's no assignment statement over here. I'm just simply taking the state CO2 fuel data frame, and once I do the sorting operation, it will then replace the original data frame with the changes that I have made in place. So to cause an operation like this to be done in place, we, add an we put in a comma and then add an additional argument where we set the value of in place equal to true. So if we go back to our example, the first thing that I've done here is to um, set the index as state and then assign that to a new data frame. So now if I run this and I wanna compare um, the, the first five lines of the new data frame, you can see that I have the state labels over here. But if I, if I examine the head of the original data frame, I can see that the state is still a generic column and that um, the labels remain here. So although I said, so I'm actually creating a view of the data, changing the labels on the data is, is still not affecting the original copy. We're just simply uh, referring to them in a different way. So that in general is true when we create a new view of the data is that the underlying data itself isn't changed, but the way that we talk about it or uh, lay it out on the page may be different. The other option, which is to use in place, is I can go ahead and set the index to be equal to the state column and do it in place. So the new, uh, so once I perform this operation, the original data frame will then be changed. So if I go ahead and run this, now if I compare the, the head operation here where state was just a column 
now I can see from this point onwards, the CO2 sector data frame now has these as labels and not as a generic column.